Okay, as you can see, I've got uh, I've made quite a few of these things, and I've got a few more left. But wanted to get some good footage of uh, the process here. All right, so let's see if we can look in this wall finish on the inside there. Very happy with that. And of course. I can't focus on the camera screen this close up. <laughs> camera focuses. Look at that surface finish. So I'll tell you what, you know, I would not run out and buy a CNC lathe if all I had was short parts to make. Uh, this is extremely fast. The cycle time to do up one here is uh, just under two minutes. It's like a minute. Uh, and at 54. Okay, and I'm extremely happy with this, and as you saw from the video, it takes a little tweaking on the code. Uh, Fusion gets me close, and then I have to tweak some of the spindle speeds throughout because I'm not using constant surface feet. Um, I, I enter the, it manually, but uh, nice trade-off for the cost of a CNC lathe. You know what I mean? This is uh, this is awesome. Uh, this particular surface right here is for a uh, grease seal and this one has a bearing right on it so basically get it uh, yeah pretty close fit there so that's perfect and it adapts it to this spindle so my tolerances have to be pretty tight and when op 2 gets done it'll be able to sit down on it like this but anyway I just wanted to show the uh, I just wanted to show the surface finish, some of the shine there. And this is straight off. I, I hit it with a grinder to get the uh, the burr I have on the back here. Okay, but I have not scotch brighted or done anything to any of the rest of this. Okay, I took it out of the mill, uh, cooled it off with a little water because uh, they tend to run a little hot sometimes. Um, hit it with a grinder and put it back up here. Beautiful. I, I, yeah. I'm extremely happy with that. And and tolerance wise, it's it's holding them within a thou easy. Uh, yeah, that one's a, and of course this is by calipers and that stuff, but uh, this one's a half a thou over. And the uh, yeah, and, and some of the others, you know, a lot of these are right on the money. There's a finish right off the mill with the mill turn. And I am super happy with that. That is that is awesome. There's no scotch bright or anything here. Whoop, out of focus. I will hit them with just a little bit of scotch bright just to even things up a hair before I uh, call them completely finished. But once again, you know, I, turning out short short parts like this using mill turn uh, why why go spend the money on a lathe you know what I mean I'm considering the possibility of a second mill so I can do more of this kind of stuff and then still have the mill to do the other stuff okay